Are you wondering about the connection between your gut and your energy levels? Today we're going to talk about symptoms of IBS and how they can overlap with symptoms of chronic fatigue and what you can do about it. Stay tuned to learn more. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I am a functional medicine doctor and registered dietitian and family medicine doctor, and I help motivated women and men rediscover the magic of feeling well, reclaim their health, their energy, their vitality. So we talk a lot about different things that affect our energy levels. So today we're going to talk about irritable bowel syndrome or the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, because I don't really call it that, but mainstream medicine does. And we're going to talk about how that can affect your fatigue and your energy levels and what you can do about it. So subscribe if you like the idea of this channel uh, like share I post videos every Thursday hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos so as I said in my functional medicine practice we do a lot with gut health and energy levels so your gut is very linked to your brain and we all a lot of us have heard about the gut microbiome connection so I'll link some videos I've had on that in the past above so our guts, when they're disrupted, that can affect our energy levels greatly. We, um, our, our pathways in our body, our detox pathways, our brain function pathways are all mucked up and congested because we're trying so hard to focus on the gut and to have um, to give our energy to that. So basically our energy is being taken away from these other vital organs and being given to the gut. So what is irritable bowel syndrome? That is kind of a trash can term um, that they use in conventional medicine for uh, when you have bloating, a gas, um, and then you can either alternate with diarrhea and constipation or you could be more IBS with constipation focused or IBS with diarrhea focused, or they can be a mix between the two. So that probably sounds like you or someone you know, if you're watching this video. And when we have that kind of disruption in our microbiome, in our gut, we cannot give the energy to our brains and to our livers and to the rest of our body to really um, have the energy that it should have. So when we're having symptoms of just a chronic fatigue, when we uh, feel like we can't get out of the bed in the morning, we have crashes in the afternoon, we don't sleep well, we want to look at our gut in the beginning or at, at first. We can also look at hormone function and I have lots of videos on hormone function, but we want to start with cleaning up our gut. So I have a video on um, the five R's of cleaning up or the five R's of leaky gut. So I'm going to link that one. That's a great one that talks about kind of our methodology and functional medicine behind improving our gut function and kind of resetting our gut. And last week I did a video on fasting and, and gut reset. So that's relevant as well. So if you're having those symptoms, if you've been diagnosed with IBS, C, IBS, D, or a mixed IBS, then I encourage you to seek out some of these uh, methodologies with functional medicine. So if you're really chronically fatigued, seek these out. Look at your microbiome, look at your gut health, and then hopefully you can reclaim that vitality like we've talked about. So one way to look into your gut that I've talked about in other videos is to have your microbiome tested. You can do that with a functional medicine doctor like myself. There are a lot of kits out there that you can order on your own. Um, one that was there before you biome, that might've changed. Um, Viome is a great one. And I'll put some links in the description down below at some tests you can order on your own, and then some links to the ones that we use. We use GI effects by Genova. We use um, Diagnostic Health Solutions GI map, and we sometimes use doctor's data um, GI test. So those, what those do is they look at the microbiome. We see what's out of whack. If the, uh, if the dysbiotic or kind of potentially bad bacteria can be overgrown over the good bacteria and then that can cause your gas, your bloating, your diarrhea, your constipation, so your IBS symptoms and th therefore muck up your detox pathways, muck up the, take up a lot of the vitamins and minerals that we need for our brain to function better and then cause that chronic fatigue. So I recommend if you're having chronic fatigue and IBS to have your microbiome checked out to get those potentially bad bacteria back in check and to boost up your good bacteria. Now sometimes that can be as simple as taking a probiotic, but 
oftentimes it is not as simple as taking a probiotic and you need to do those initial steps that I talk about in my 5R video to really reset the gut so that you can have your energy levels back and get a better um, functioning gut, not have your IBS symptoms, but also have your not have your fatigue symptoms either. So get your microbiome tested, work on replacing um, what you might be missing as far as the bacteria in your gut, good bacteria, resetting the gut lining, not having leaky gut anymore. If we can reduce leaky gut, then we improve our gut health, our, we reduce the symptoms of IBS, and we have more energy. So also looking at what, uh, you can look at some micronutrient testing to see what might be lacking in your um, system because the gut might be uh, kind of using it all up. So looking at a spectra cell test or a Nutribel test, or even just doing some red blood cell or plasma testing with your primary care doctor or uh, whoever does your testing, your holistic health provider, whoever, um, they can look at your iron levels, your ferritin, your storage form of your iron, magnesium, copper, B vitamins, all those things are needed to have good energy levels. And if these are these are being used up by a malfunctioning gut and kind of congest, like using up that fuel, then we will have chronic fatigue. So looking at micronutrient levels is essential. Getting a good night's sleep is essential for both our microbiome and obviously for our energy levels. So don't forget about the importance of getting a good night's sleep and the lifestyle factors that I've talked about in some of my other videos, and I'll link some playlists. So just remember that your gut is very linked to your um, energy levels. And so start working with a provider. Um, we have virtual services. We have in-person services in Colorado. There's lots of functional medicine doctors out there. I'll link the IFM links below. And look at your gut, um, look at your micronutrients, and then maybe take a look at your hormones too. Check out some of my other videos to learn how to reset the gut so that your energy levels can be improved and so that you can improve your daily living. Because if you're fatigued, if you're having gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, always looking for a bathroom, always uncomfortable after eating, you're not living vitally. You're not, you don't have, you don't feel well. You just feel drained all the time. So you've got to do something about that. So I encourage you to check out some of my other videos, to check out functional medicine. Um, I'll have all the descriptions and link down below. I have PDFs that if you sign up for our email list, you'll have a, a link to not only my helpful PDFs on reclaiming your energy and vitality, but also a link to um, some of my recommended vitamins and minerals, and you'll have a, a discount. So um, join us next Thursday, subscribe, like, share this video, and uh, take a look at your gut, take a look at your micronutrients, and really take the steps to restore your gut health and your energy levels, and you will feel so much better. We'll see you next Thursday.